Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Intelligent Survive. I'm Theo. I'm Clint. And welcome to the 18th day of RPG a Day. And this is today's prompt, as we've been doing for the last 17 days. Today's our 18th prompt. It's neat. And this one's really fucking simple. I was warned about that. I, I, I just, I just warned him to try not to swear so much. Just I had just a full of piss. I just full of piss and vinegar. <laughs> See, that's ah. fine. So the prompt today is me. Prompt meat. And the question is, who have you met because of RPGs? Clint, you get to answer this one first. So I've not met anyone famous. So there's not that. It's not like I've I've seen or anyone because directly because of RPGs. I've met a bunch of interesting random people at conventions because I would run short games for Pathfinder Society. So just interesting random. A lot of parents with their little kids and stuff that were always very funny to run for. Um, I guess the only real people of note I've truly met is I met like Ted and who he's talked about is like one of the top, one of the, he was the old kind of top people for, uh, for Paizo who dealt with basically all of their convention stuff was one of his jobs was he would go to all the conventions. So I met one of the, the Paizo suits. Um, I got yelled at by the Paizo suit. I've met multiple different owners of multiple different stores, become friends with, like Jason from the Game Shelf and old owners from other game stores and whatnot, and met them through that uh, person that ran all of Pathfinder Society before he basically got fired from it oh. um, in our area. I met him through playing, and that's how I got into going to PAX was because of that stuff, but... Um, I met you because of role playing games. Yep, that was like um, the very obvious one is each other. Yeah. Other than then, the breakout of most of my friend group, my extended friend group, I've met tangentially because of that was I met you or one other person that played games. And they're like, "Hey, here's other friends," and then it was like, you know, so most of us, my friends and stuff, I've met through role playing games and stuff like that that I met through college or whatnot. So. Super boring. No one famous. <laughs> um, I met the guy who created Fifth Edition. Oh, you met one of the people? No, no. I, I, the guy who created Fifth Edition, like the main author guy, the oh. main head. Uh, when I was because I, I uh, last year I applied to work for Gen Con, and I did three different interviews for three different positions. So I went for like a super high position. Oh, you met Peter the, the, um, Peter Atkinson. Did you so. say you met him? I think it was him. Yeah, that was Peter Atkinson. You, he's the head of he runs and owns Gen Con right now. He is also no, it, yeah, it, no, yeah. I also I also met him. No, I I know the guy. The guy, one like, of the guys he because I thought that's who you're talking about. Like he didn't do fifth edition. He's not even. No, it was no. I I met that guy too. I met Peter Atkinson as well because he was in the office for one of my interview days, and I was introduced to him. That was, by by the way, being professional and trying not to fanboy at the same time is so hard. And I and the interviewer sat there and looked at me, and went because the guy just walks in, says hi to the guy interviewing me, talks to him, turns to me, asks me a couple questions. Talk to me, and then walks out the door. I don't get a name. And then the guy goes, yeah, that was this guy. And I'm just like, and he goes, yeah, because they were talking about actual, like, just fifth edition stuff, like some of the stuff coming out and everything like that, because uh, uh, he went fully to work on Gen Con more than, like, in the company. So he was, he was one of the guys that got like, this system, like, edition going. And I was like, oh, pretty cool. I'm just like, I must not fanboy. I must not fanboy. I must not fanboy. And the interviewer goes, don't worry. That happens to everyone because he does this in every interview. Yeah, we I was going to say, with, he probably Like, does interesting it. people, interesting people he sees who are being interviewed, he'll just walk in on the interview just to see what they do. And he's like, and you did good. Like, he could tell you we're excited, but you kept the professional. It's a good job there. If you, if you don't know what one of the other things that Peter Atkinson has done, he's the reason Wizards of the Coast owns the Dungeons and Dragons rights. He yeah. was he was the one behind buying them from TSR in like the nineties ish or something like that. I can't remember the exact year it happened, but um, late nineties, early two thousands, because yeah. um, third edition was um, came out when I was just about to start high school. 
yeah, that was um, he's the entire reason that happened. So, and he basically owns and runs Gen Con, so it's kind of a yeah. big deal. It's, I think that was who I met. I think that's the first time I met. I was that's, just the, like, oh, that's the big. Oh, that's the big oh. person you met then because of role playing games. Yeah, I was like, holy crap! I've also met, almost met Will Beaton. I almost met Will Beaton too. Almost all, like, if you go to any convention, you, you almost came in because he's like the free, he's like the free sign guy. But he almost came to one of, he almost came to one of my demo games. That was pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, no, that was uh, that was my big like fan. Oh my god, I I can't believe I'm meeting the person that you know shaped pretty much my entire teenage years game wise. And then, you know, of course, Clint and, you know, <laughs> my friends, our, like, Yeah, our friends. Pretty fun. Yeah, you'll make a bunch of friends if you play. You'll... That is true. I think that's, and then, like, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Like, uh, yeah, listen, let us know in the comments who you've met through RPGs. Friends, family, significant others, famous people, things like that. And, uh, don't forget to ring the bell. Do all the other YouTube stuff. Follow us on social media. I'll probably be posting some more on Twitter at some point. <laughs> Maybe. We'll figure it out. If before this video there's a bunch of posts from that, it's because we're filming this on the 14th. <laughs> I'm making this promise now. And yeah. this video is for the 18th. Yeah. So we'll see you. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you for us in two minutes. And, you know, it'll be 24 hours for you. So. Yep. <laughs> see you tomorrow, everybody. See you tomorrow.